guys? Hey, it's freezing out there. Where's your coat? Ted, I'm Canadian. I don't need a coat. This kind of weather is nothing for me. Yeah, this is like a spring day back in Minnesota if it weren't for all the taxis and skyscrapers and non-white people. There aren't any black people in Minnesota. Not if Prince is on tour. I'm glad you found out. Because I'm proud to be Canadian. We may not have a fancy NFL team or Prince, but we invented Trivial Pursuit. You're welcome, Earth. What? Where is my cash? Oh. Yeah. I did a little exchange for you, Knucklehead. This Canadian dollar here is called a loonie, and this two-dollar coin, a toonie. True story. It's federal currency, and you people talk about it like it's a Hanna-Barbera character. You can't be serious. Oh, I am as serious as a poutine shortage in Shakutami during a curling bon spiel. I don't know what any of those words mean. In Canada, you can go to an all-nude strip club and order alcohol. That's right. From Moose Jaw to the Bay of Fundy, you can suck down a 20-ounce Pilsner while watching some coal miner's daughter strip down to her pelt. Jealous. In Canada, people don't care where you're from. As long as you're friendly and, and maybe loan them a smoke or hand over a donut. I'm proud to be from the Great White North. That's a good question, Norm. Uh, okay, the, the first thing is from when I was a cub reporter for Channel 22 in Red Deer. In Alberta. In Canada. Oh, Canada. Right. Well, the snow's coming down pretty hard, but these intrepid fishermen are still happy to be owed competing in Lake Athabasca's bass fishing jamboree, an August 1st tradition. Back to you, Norm. What? That was my first job. It, it shows where I came from. Unless a bear attacks you in the next three seconds and you snap its neck with your legs, that has no business being on your reel. Ted, I'm older than you. Yeah. And taller. Just older. And when you reach my age and height, you'll see that things like this hurricane are no big deal. They're gonna close the bridges, you guys. We gotta get out of here. I'm afraid I'm with Blondie on this one. The storm is nothing. I'm from Vancouver. You know what they call this in the couve? Barbecue weather. Okay, so let me get this straight. You just snuck this girl into some stranger's apartment? Yeah, we spent the night. Wait, that time that you offered to walk my dogs when I went to visit my dad in Vancouver? Yep. Is that why my Yorkie trembled for like a week after I got back? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that little guy saw some stuff I'm not proud of. Why is this the first I've heard of Argentina? Mm, American schools suck at geography? I feel bad for you, Americans, that you can look at this wondrous and educational adventure through space and see something obscene. Can you just please try to look at this with the innocence of a child? Innocence of a child. Innocence of a child. Okay. Coming up. Seven times four. Twenty-eight. Keep going. Eight times nine. Seventy-two. Don't stop now. Almost there. Twenty-three times three. <sighs> Sorry, we gotta ration this. You don't train for a marathon, you just run it. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Not at all. I could run a marathon anytime I wanted to. <laughs> so like tomorrow, you think you could wake up, roll out of bed, and just run the New York City Marathon? Absolutely. Barney, we're talking about 42 kilometers. Thanks, Canada. I'll take it from here. She's miserable. She's realized she's made a huge mistake. Her and Marshall will be back together in a week. I love it! Um, no, you just want Lily to be miserable. The truth is, she's happy. Trust me, I've known Lily for nine years. Uh, trust me, I'm a girl. Yeah, but you're Canadian. Why do you always have to bring that up? You bring it up every time. No, it has nothing all right, to do five with... bucks says she still wants Marshall. You're on. Five American bucks. Damn it. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm also out. <laughs> okay, now I'm really out. Well, I'm sorry, guys. It was all very tame. We only dated for a week and a half. I thought you said you were together all summer. Yeah, summer in Canada is pretty much the last week of July. Love it. So what the hell are you doing? You can't buy this place. Lily, you have a debt the size of Mount Waddington. Waddington? It's the tallest mountain in Canada. It's like 4,000 meters high. Meters? I was a stalker. I was back in Canada. I liked a guy, and he didn't like me, and, well, I got a little obsessed. Eventually, there may have been a teensy-weensy 50-meter restraining order. 50 meters? That's like four years. Wow. I 
thought the oven was Celsius. I side with Robin. What? Dad, your place is too cluttered. It's like you're living in a Bennigan. <laughs> <laughs> or a Danby's. What, they don't have Danby's in the US? Really? Well, well then where do you get Grizzly Paw ice cream sandwiches? Just stop, sweetie. The celebrity was Harvey Strays? <laughs> no, that's what he collected. Harvey's trays. He had those classic orange trays you get whenever you eat at Harvey's. The restaurant? Oh, come on, you're road tripping down the Trans-Canada Highway. You get a hunger on between Milverton and Wawa. Where are you gonna strap on a feet bag, huh? Harvey's, over 12,000 served. Well, my hiccups are gone, possibly forever. Canada, you did it again. You even found a way to ruin this. Why? Why do we let you be a country? But after endless touring, Robin started to crack. Who doesn't love the mall? <laughs> Shopping with your friends and... <sighs> I can't do this. <sighs> it's out of my face, please. Thank you. Pardon me. Thanks, sorry. Even when Canadians are mean, they're polite. Housekeeping, I've already made my bed, and I only use one washcloth, so it's... Congratulations, Miss Sparkles. On behalf of the Manitoba Hotel and Curling Rink Association, we'd like to thank you for being the nicest, most well-behaved hotel guest ever. Oh, <laughs> Wait, so you're not going home for Thanksgiving? No, I have to work on Friday. You? I'm Canadian, remember? We celebrate Thanksgiving in October. Oh, right, I forgot. You guys are weird. You pronounce the word out. Out. I'm sorry, sometimes I forget how seriously you guys take American Thanksgiving. Real Thanksgiving happened over a month ago. I'm sorry, did you just say Canadian Thanksgiving was, and I'm quoting, the real Thanksgiving? What do Canadians even have to celebrate a boat? The Canadian Thanksgiving celebrates explorer Martin Frobisher's valiant, yet ultimately unsuccessful attempt to find the Northwest Passage. Why are you guys even a country? Oh, you poor thing. To have to grow up in Canada with America right there. Mmm. -hmm. This is nice. What is this? Canadian whiskey. <laughs> I want scotch. American scotch from Scotland. Just get that swill away from me. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? You have been ripping on Canada since Justin Bieber was knee high to a snowblower. So now this Canuck's gonna beat on you like the drummer from Yukon Blonde hopped up on Timbits. Arnie streak ends at six. What? Why? Because that guy with the weird hair just walked in? That's Nick Swisher. He's a New York Yankee. No normal guy in New York City can compete with a Yankee. No, I'm not seeing it. Okay, let me try to Canada this up for you, eh? How would you react if one of those Kachuk guys with the skates and the sticks walked in here? Lily, if one of the Vancouver Canucks walked in here, my panties would drop so hard there would be a hole in the floor halfway to China. That's what it's like with the Yankees. Oh, Barney's screwed. You're, you're probably wondering why I've been quiet all night. Um... Yeah! Not really. I, I forgot. She thinks fighting's sexy. <laughs> no, I do not a lot. Look, I, I come from a culture of hockey players. If a guy can throw down, it's somewhat way hot. And scars? Hello. If a guy's got a scar, he's got a robin. And if he's missing teeth, I'm missing my pants. <laughs> I think I've got a little crush on our sports guy. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I know. I know, but he used to play hockey, and I'm a Canadian. I can't help it. If he were missing some teeth, I probably would have already hit that. Stanley Cup, game six, eh? The Rangers are about to be sorry they ever played shinny with the Canucks. Hey, hey, Robin. Yeah. I'll give you 20 bucks if you can shoot it through this front door. Oh, you're nuttier than a Tim Hortons maple log. Timmy, ah! Ah! That's it, Robin. Give me the stick. I'll give you summer teeth. Summer here, summer there. <laughs> oh, Robin, give me the stick. Take off, hoser. Whoa. That's it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, get her, get her. Oh, guys, come on. America. And enjoyed leisure time a little differently. Make fun of the great white north all you want. It's the best country in the world.
Mm -hmm. the social experiment. USA, USA, USA. USA! Okay, okay, okay. You know, what does that even prove, okay? You chant anything, people will join in. Canada! 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 Okay, they won't chant anything. Shrimp fried rice! 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 Shrimp fried rice, totally. <laughs> well, there's only one possible way to avoid getting deported. My lawyer said I can become an American citizen. Perfect. Problem solved. Welcome aboard. Well, it's not that simple. I'm a Canadian. I was born there. My family's there. It's who I am. I know. And it's provided us with a lot of laughs. Well, baby, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Do no, she doesn't want to wait. Okay, I'm going to rock your body anyway. I'm going to rock your body till Canada Day. And by the end of the night, Barney had turned Robin into a real American. I want to say Jefferson? Correct. Oh. Archie Bunker's neighbor was George Jefferson. Oh, yeah. I am nailing this. God, I'm buzzing on America you right now. Hold your horses. Now, to prove that you are as American as apple pie and the childhood obesity it leads to, <laughs> who is this? That, Barney, is the American actor beloved by millions, the Haverne guy from the popular series of Ernest Films. And his name? Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy? No, it's Jim Varney. You're kidding me. You don't know that? Uh, that's Jeff Foxworthy, dumbass. End of story. Now shut your stupid face. Not only are you wrong, but you are belligerently sticking to your guns and insulting me in the process. Robin Scherbatsky, you are an American. <laughs>We didn't want to do friends. We didn't want to do Ross and Rachel and will they or won't they for 10 years. We wanted to have an, an interesting friendship where yeah. they're kind of in love, but it just, it just not, you know, fate's a big character on the show. For some reason, it's just not in the stars for them. But they still could get together, even if oh, that's yeah, yeah, good. Absolutely. It's, absolutely. Like, it's not will they or won't they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did, actually. I got scared. I know you did. <laughs> you always, like me. You always Falls out before no. I do. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, she's from Canada. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. good. Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Always with the Canadian thing. Even if you do wrong, just blame it on Canada. <laughs>